One of the best things you can do to your electric guitar recordings inside a GarageBand is learn how to automate the pedals on the virtual pedal board inside a GarageBand. So that's what I'm gonna teach you how to do today. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at a song of mine that I put out on this past Monday called This Will Pass, which was an instrumental song. In the lead guitar track, for those of you who watched it, just so you know, that lead guitar track was basically one long guitar take, which you can see right here in this section of purple region. So these are the effects that I was using, uh, just a delay and this vintage drive right here. And these are the effects that I have turning on and off throughout the performance of the song. Doing things this way will make your life a lot easier because you don't have to separate channels. You can actually just sit there like a normal guitar player and play your guitar part from beginning to end. And in this particular case, that does include what I would call a soloing section. I am playing the melody, but it is you know a solo section where I do actually have this distortion turning on. The delay turns up a little bit more at the end things like that. It's really a simple thing to do. So let's turn off this pedal board and I'm gonna open up the automation window by clicking right here and we're gonna get my automation information. So the first thing you're seeing here, this is the yellow line, this is the default thing that will open up which is the volume, okay? So that's pretty standard. Volume's low here, gets a little higher here. Here's the soloing section. Actually, this is one of the choruses sections and then this is the outro uh, or the B section. So I'm gonna click here, and this will show me all of the different things that I have the ability to automate, okay? So I'm looking specifically for the pedal board, and let's talk about the vintage drive first, okay? So I have these different options, which you could change throughout the song, okay? So I have a drive, a fat or you know not fat switch, uh, the level, the pedal state, which is on or off, and the tone knob. Now I could change these, but I decided to just set up the tone I wanted out of that pedal, and then I wanted to turn it on and off, okay? So we come here and now we get this sort of aqua blue line, okay? So what it is at the bottom is off, when it's up, it's on, okay? Super easy. Let me just turn the uh, cycler off and you can hear what I'm talking about. I'm gonna solo this channel. So it's gonna turn on right here. Okay, so that's pretty self-explanatory, right? Um, on and off, pretty simple. I will uh, put it at the end and I'll just show you on the pedal board that it actually does turn off as we approach that section. Um, there it is, okay? So basically, I can get more of a clean sound when it's off. It's still grinding just a tiny bit out of the, the amp sound. Um, but nothing too crazy there. This is on and off, okay? So now let's look at a different effect which is on that pedal board, which is the delay, okay? So in that delay, if we go back up to pedal board, oops, if we go back up to pedal board and I look for the true tape delay, you can see the two things that I actually did affect here. So the pedal state and the ones that I affected are the ones that are highlighted here. As you can see, there are two. So mix and pedal state are both highlighted. So pedal state was on and off. So you can see that here. It's on here, off here, on there. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, as you could hear in this section, the delay sounds like this. Which is, you know, just sort of in the background, in the whole mix, um, you don't really hear the delay, but it does add a little bit of sort of atmospheric effect. That's what I sort of think about it here. Here's it in the entire mix, just so you can hear it. Okay, so that's what it sounds like there. Now, when I got to the end section, the what we could call the C section of this song, I wanted there to be much, much more delay out of that delay. <laughs> so, uh, and, and just so you do know what I'm using as far as the setting, I have it set to sync and, uh, the time is set to one eighth dotted notes. Okay. So if we listen to it in that section, this is what it sounds like.
Okay, so let me show you the automation on that. So if I come down here to, uh, let's see, where are we? Pedal state, pedal board. Actually, let's just go back up here and we will just go directly to it. Okay, so here's here you can see, this is the mix knob automation in this particular track, okay? So here I have it set to 20% and here it is set to 45%. So it's just more in the mix, right? There's more of that delay sound in the mix. Whole point of what I'm trying to show you here is that the vast majority, I'm pretty sure every single one of the pedals available on this little pedal board here, I'm talking about all of these effects right here, are automatable. <laughs> is, that a, is that a word, automable? <laughs> I don't think that's the word, but you do have the ability to automate them. That's the wah pedal, that's the compressor, the reverbs, all of those kinds of things. The nice thing, like I said at the top, about using these options to automate is it makes it more like you are actually the guitar player playing this pedal board on the ground with your feet. It also makes your workflow a little bit more efficient. So like I said, you don't have to open up a different channel that has more delay and or, or less delay or more reverb or less reverb those extra channels are gonna eat up, uh, you know, CPU space are gonna eat up RAM, depending on how much power your computer has to run. If you're one of those people where GarageBand bogs down a lot, this is a great option for you. So you can keep your tracks as minimal as possible. Uh, it, it'll just make things easier for you and it just makes things sound more realistic. I think, I totally think it does to have that distortion pedal turning on and off like that. Um, the mix turning up and down. Now, of course, you know, if I want to turn the mix up on my pedal board, I literally have to lean over and do that. But, uh, you know, so this might be a little bit more advanced than what you could really do in real life, but it does certainly make your workflow inside a garage band more simple and more efficient. And that's what I wanted to show you today. So you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching my videos here on GarageBand and Beyond. If you do want to take the time and really does help my channel, hit that subscribe button. I've been here for a decade and I still don't have a silver play button, but I'm working hard, you know? Uh, progress is slow, but I'm in it for the long haul. So uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button and the little diggity dong bell there if you want to get notifications when my new videos do come out. And um, also I do have a Patreon page and patrons, don't worry, you will be getting a mixed breakdown of this song. Um, I have been suffering from laryngitis for a little over two and a half, probably around three weeks now. Um, my voice is much, much better, uh, but I, it's been hard. I couldn't speak like with even the voice you hear right now. I just could, couldn't talk. It was thoroughly exhausting to speak like this. Trust me, there are videos you will never see because my voice was just so thrashed from the very last mix breakdown that I did, which was an hour long. And um, I actually had to make that three times. And the day after that, my voice was basically gone. Then I got the flu and that made things worse. And you know, so anyway, so that's the end of this video, but I just wanted to uh, let you guys know, I do have a Patreon page and um, that's where like the behind the scenes stuff, like these mixed breakdowns of the songs that are released on Monday actually come out and everybody gets the like the full blown nitty gritty details of pretty much everything I do in those songs. So um, join the Patreon page for that and all sorts of different benefits for signing up. Um, mix notes, that's one of my favorite ones is mix notes. All right, you guys, I think that's it. Have an awesome day and I'll talk to you pretty soon. All right, peace and love. Thank you.